Uh, Thomas and myself, we met in our university years uh, way back and uh, we were actually working on a hobby project on a crypto exchange back in our university days. Yeah, I think it was about eight years ago, uh, just in the first semester of the university and uh, we met through one of our friends also who used to um, be my classmate in university and now he also works for us. First time we were fighting fraud ourselves was when we faced uh, a bunch of chargebacks after starting to accept credit card payments with this crypto exchange and that's when we realized how big of an issue online fraud can be and then we were looking to integrate something and, and that's how it all spun out. So we needed an immediate solution to our fraud issues and we looked at the market, couldn't find something that would completely solve our, our, uh, our problem. We started developing our own solution in-house and that's how we pivoted towards developing a full-on fraud prevention suit as it is today, which is see on fast forward a couple of years. We started out in a co-working office space back in 2017, just the two of us, and then slowly and steadily uh, we were a five-man show. Um, our chief product officer, our chief technology officer, Balint and Miklos were our initial joiners, a couple of developers, and I myself, I was strongly focused on uh, on sales, so business development. I was doing back-to-back -back demos all day long and Tommy was uh, driving the development team. For a couple of months, we were uh, pitching around Budapest and, and some other cities in Europe to, to find potential investors. We have built the pitch deck, the landing page for our website, the logo, the brand. It was really different to now, uh, compared to now. Um, the logo is quite similar still, but you know, from the beginning, we had this idea to build a full prevention product that doesn't involve any friction, that works with uh, invisible collectible data points such as the email address, the phone number, the IP and the device. So we have realized these data points consist hundreds of other data points that can be collected and accessible from the internet. So you, you only need a browser and internet connection to look up these details, uh, but to do it on a massive scale, uh, no one did it the way how we envisioned to do it. Uh, so after sitting half a year in the co-working office space, looking, having a team of five people. Looking for a product market fit. Yeah, <laughs> looking for a product market fit and our initial uh, revenue streams. We finally got our first paying client in the summer of 2017. That was like a fuck yeah moment. And then um, we raised our seed round by the end of the, that year because we were gonna run out of cash. And from that point on, we grew to about 15 people moved to a new office, obviously. Uh, it, was a, it was actually a bit run down, uh, flat office, right, Tommy, in mm -hmm. the middle of Budapest? I would say that, yeah, the hardest time was indeed like the first 12 to 16 or 18 months, uh, when we were actually like uh, struggling to keep the business alive in terms of like, you know, almost running out of money, but we were lucky enough to find our first international client, as Spencer said, the summer of 2017. So we were just you know, at the point when we almost weren't able to pay our employees. But the good thing was also that one of our first international clients became also uh, one of our first angel investors. So this person, um, a UK businessman, he was running his own VPN provider and then he got in touch with our existing pre-seed investors and then they had a conversation around fraud and uh, he also mentioned that he has problem within his own business with fraud. So he would love to give a trial to see on and then you know we have of course offered a solution and then in one month we could reduce by 90% all the fraudulent transactions on his platform so he got uh, also a product advocate of ours uh, really soon uh, and um, he invested in the business with uh, his uh, network in, uh, in, in England so um, very good feedback you know this was a turning point I think and then we have you know focused on uh, launching a global scale business. You work hard and then you go home that night and answer a couple more emails and then years later you arrive to democratizing fraud fighting. We were lucky enough to secure a 1 million euro bridge round from Portfolio, um, our, uh, one of our uh, existing investors uh, from the seed round. So basically this has helped us to you know, have uh, more, uh, uh, let's say, leverage and also uh, more risk appetite to launch or um, um, let's say uh, yeah, um, operation abroad. So to open up our office in London and, uh, and you know, that 
has happened just before the lockdown uh, kicked in in uh, 2020 March. You know, that was like a turning point in terms of like how quickly we were growing. So uh, this has, you know, accelerated a lot of things. Um, and Jimmy Fong, our chief commercial officer, joined at this point of, of time. And then, you know, he has brought in uh, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, great ideas, uh, experience from his past because he spent 13 years uh, working in the industry uh, with uh, uh, some of our competitors actually. So he knew you know, what could work well on the sales side and what really couldn't work well or, or you know, uh, <laughs> what doesn't work. And, and, uh, and, and yeah, I mean, you know, from that point, the pandemic also have created new challenges, but for us, it has opened up also new doors and possibilities. Fast forward to today, uh, and we're focused on democratizing fraud fighting. And what we actually mean by that is we want to make our tools available to as many merchants out there as possible in the simplest form possible. And, uh, you know, as you would be consuming Netflix or Spotify, where you're sitting in the middle of the night, and you want to watch a new movie that just came out, you can sign up in a couple of minutes and you're able to do that and you're able to access their service. We want to replicate the exact same thing in the fraud prevention world. So we want to offer a truly software as a service uh, platform uh, in the fraud world, which we feel nobody's doing at the moment. And there's, there's a huge, there's a massive um, market that's untapped. Since the pandemic, we have grown from 18 people to 140 as of now, which, you know, is, is quite a, a big jump. Uh, we've tried to, you know, keep the company's culture and values intact and also, you know, exposed to all the new joiners of the team. We have very ambitious plans, uh, uh, even in the, in the future. So we will try to do our best to also keep, uh, you know, uh, to resonate our core values, the, what Sion represents to our future, future goals and, and to the future teammates as well. Uh, first of all, we would like to continue to expand uh, globally. So we would like to, um, uh, to, to add more new teammates to our strategic locations in uh, Austin, London, uh, Budapest and Jakarta and we are also opening up to Singapore and San Francisco, New York um, with business development uh, offices and um, we would like to keep the research and development mainly in, in, in Europe, so Budapest and uh, I think this is a you know, great uh, basis for, uh, for engineering uh, resources, the talent here is amazing so regarding our, uh, our long-term strategy, we want to double down on what we've been doing so well on regarding data enrichment and we're constantly growing these online platforms which we're checking for email, phone number, uh, registration and so on. And on the other hand, uh, regarding democratizing fraud fighting and, uh, and focusing on the seamless onboarding, uh, we want to make our tools available to as many e-commerce merchants and long-tail customers as possible. So we're building uh, plugins for the major e-commerce platform providers such as Shopify, WooCommerce, Magento. And this is our vision to basically spread our tools in, uh, in the long-tail customer segment. And that's why we need more uh, teammates to, to help us on, your, on our journey and, and you know, accelerate even faster than now.